Obviously, I've not tried this yet. Maybe I should try it first. See what it is straight? Oh. Maybe I should shake it. Because it's a milky product. Just like. Poquito. <laughs> smells like milky rum. Well, that would be good straight. That already tastes like cinnamon toast crunch. What are we doing adding more to it? Ah, meh. We'll see. Welcome to another episode of Cocktail Hour at Butter and Salt. I'm Krista McLemore, and that's Kevin. At first I'd like to say welcome back! Where have you been? I'm just kidding. I know I've been gone, not you. We're gonna make Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Mostly because I have these cute little rum chata thingies, and I haven't used them because, quite frankly, I'm scared. I, I didn't know what they would taste like. I found some recipes that look pretty fun. Um, this one seemed easy enough for a Tuesday night. Monday night for me, Tuesday night for you. Whatever. So this recipe calls for two parts rum chata, one part fireball. Not that part. So this little guy is three and a third-ish ounces. So we're just gonna do the whole thing. We're gonna do one and a half ounces of Fireball. Schmidge. Pour all of that over ice, which I did. It's pre-iced. Put your shaker lid on good and tight, so it, that's not good and tight, so that it doesn't come out. And shake. goes it. You want some? You want some? It's pretty tasty. It's very fireball-y. Cinnamony. Cinnamony. Now all of a sudden it doesn't taste like cinnamon toast crunch. It just say it tastes like cinnamon. And milk. Just gonna add a little schmish. A vanilla vodka. Give it a swizzle. If this works, then do this too in there. And shake it all up. That's better. All of a sudden it's not quite so cinnamony. <laughs> You still have it, but you get the vanilla. I bet if you had whipped, that might be pretty good too, because then you get like the milk from, if you were having Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereal. Kevin gets to try this now. I've just been sipping off it myself. That's pretty good. Yeah? Yeah. It tastes like dessert? It does. It does. Okay. I'm this making, one's mine. I'm making another one. <laughs> <laughs> Round two! Then we're gonna do a fair amount of splash of um, vanilla vodka. That was a fair amount of splash! You know what it kind of tastes like? Like eggnog. Yes. Yeah. It tastes like eggnog. Spiced eggnog. Spiced eggnog. That's exactly what it freaking tastes like. So, to achieve this flavor, you can do all of this or go buy some eggnog. <laughs> <laughs> but eggnog is only around one time a year. So if you're gonna have a traditional Christmas in July, like I like to have, this is how I can get my eggnog flavors. 
If you like this episode of Cocktail Hour, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel. There's a button, a little picture of me. Gonna be up around here somewhere. That's where you can get to my channel to subscribe. While you're there, click the little bell button. Even if you're already a subscriber, click the little bell button and then you're notified when I have new episodes because apparently I'm doing these few and far between right now. Actually, not really. I already have plans for what I'm doing for next week that I can record this weekend. So, yay go me. Two weeks in a row. That's what we're gonna have. We're having two weeks in a row. Guaranteed. If you wanna see any of my last episodes, Go ahead and go to my page. Again, you'll find that there from the little picture of me on one of these sides. <laughs> and then it'll take you to my page. You'll find all of my previous episodes there. We'll see you next time. <laughs>